National League review time. Hello, I hope everyone's doing well and my National League subscribers. I'm here to give you a review of the National League weekend as I didn't get around to doing a preview um, during the week. So I did say I'd come back and, and do some reviews and here you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the score lines and um, any real surprises that I saw happening, you know, and uh, and then give you a view of where the table is uh, before we go into the next round of fixtures next week. I think they've got a small midweek program the National League has as well, and where everyone's standing so far. So let's get on with it. Uh, I'll give you the rundowns like they do on the BBC show. Here we go. Uh, Chesterfield 1, Oldham Athletic 1. Aldershot Town 1, York City 1. Altrincham 1, Bournemouth 1. Barnet 2, Woking 0. Halifax Town 1, Oxford City 1. Gateshead 4, Emsley United 1. Kinemus Harris 0, Bromley 0. Maidenhead United 1, Dagenham Redbridge, 0. Rochdale 2, Eastley, 0. Solihull Moors 3, Docking Wanderers, 0. Southern United 2, Fradlipool United, 3. And Wealdstone 3, AFC Filed, 2. Now those results are... Um, there's some... Good results in that. I mean, I've got to say, a great result again for Barnet. They are absolutely flying at the moment. Uh, Chesterfield and Oldham, two of the probably the, the the biggest clubs in the National League right now. Obviously, Oldham uh, being uh, the first Premier League side to ever drop into to National League level, but um, a great uh, draw for them at Chesterfield. Maidenhead, I always call them the spoilers, and they are. That they've made a, a decent start to their season, and that one 0 win over Dagenham and Redbridge. Uh, I'll take you through some goal scores in a moment. Uh, Hartlepool with a uh, fantastically close win over uh, South End. Uh, Wilsden with a narrow win over Fylde. And a team I want to just touch on uh, is Solihull Moors. Now, they obviously lost Neil Ardley just before the start of the season. Is that possibly the best thing that could have happened to Solihull? I mean, they, they, they won in midweek and they've gone and, and won again. Uh, you know, we got some Craig, Kelly and Mark Beck. Well, gives them a 3 0 win over Dorking. It's. You know, they've started out how they'd want to. And, um, you know, let's actually have a quick look at some of the. Um, if we can, some of the stats. No, we can't, unfortunately. But. Um, it won't give me the stats on the site I'm looking at. But. Solio and Moors at the moment are up in second place. You, you can't really fault what's happening there. And it, it, it's so good to see, you know, it's so good to see they've started so well. Uh, Chesterfield, with that draw, will obviously feel a bit like, you know, dropping points at home. But, in a way, it's a credible draw against a tough Oldham team. Uh, Gateshead are starting to motor a bit. You know, they're on seven points so far. Great win for them. Fantastic win for Gateshead. Um, and like I said, they're, they'll be challenging up there, I think, you know. Uh, beating Ebsfleet fairly comfortably. Um, Kidderminster, slow and steady. Wins the race, shall we say. They got another point at home, this time against struggling Bromley. Bromley just have not got anything going right now. And, uh, uh, you know, they've only picked up two points and didn't score again. It's starting to, even though it's early, it's starting to be a bit alarming for them. 
Um, so, Wheelston proving a lot of people wrong. Um, they're definitely proving me wrong right now after their win of a filed. In fact, we'll just drop into that game a little bit here. Um, uh, Tavon Campbell was one with the uh, with the winner in the hundredth minute uh, of the of the game against Val. This uh, injury time is is uh, I, I I think with injury time, if it works for you, it's great. If it's going against you and you're losing points because of it, it's horrible. But a great win for Wealdstone. Like, um, I'm loving this. I'm loving the National League so far. You know, four games in, and nobody's running away with anything. This is what you want for the National League. You want this. You want uh, a number of teams challenging. I, I think Maidenhead may end up at the minute getting a bit of a nosebleed because I don't think they would expect themselves to be up as high as they are. At the minute, Maidenhead are in seventh place. Um, I don't think I've seen Maidenhead ever as high as seventh place, but uh, credit to them, seven points from four games. You know, and this is what, like I said, we all like. We like the competitive level of the National League. I, I knew this season in the National League would be competitive because there's no... Um, I don't believe there'll be a runaway. I think there could be three or four teams definitely in the uh, title contention. I don't think it'll be down just to two. Um, and what we'll do now is... Um, I'll take you to the table and show you exactly and tell you exactly where everybody is. Barnet leads the way on 10 points on goals scored only. Um, uh, Barnet lead the way on 10 points from goal difference from uh, goal scores sorry, from Solihull Moors who have absolutely made a great great start. Chesterfield in third again only on goal difference of 10 points. Hartlepool Nine points from four games. They'll be there, thereabouts. Wealdston, absolutely cracking start. Uh, eight points from the opening four games. You can't grumble with that. Uh, Gateshead uh, and Maidenhead, they make up the top seven so far. Halifax, South End just dropping out. Altrincham are in tenth. They're doing really well. Rochdale starting to find their feet uh, a little bit. You know, two wins from four games. They've had two defeats, but, you know... That two wins will just bounce them out. Of the, and the, if if record was to go watch that, they mate, they'll lose the next game. But who knows? Uh, Ebbsfleet couldn't be fairly pleased with the way they've started. Um, they're in twelfth. Bournemouth just underneath. Um, yeah, you know, just underneath the top half with five points. But it, it's early yet. Oldham. In 15th place. Probably not the start they wanted. Um, two defeats in that time of winning the draw. So maybe not exactly the start they wanted. But, but I said it's early. Uh, Oxford City getting... Uh, uh, you know... With a point. And what I like about this league so far is... Everybody has picked something up. Every team has picked something up. Which... Is already shaping up to be a, a competitive league as well. The bottom four right now are York City, uh, Bromley, Oxford City and Dagenham and Redbridge. Now I didn't think I'd be saying that uh, this early in the season. Dagenham just have not got started. They've only scored three goals this campaign so far. They've conceded eight goals uh, they're actually below Oxford as Oxford have, have four and nine scored four and conceded nine uh, you could class them as joint bottom but it, it this league is already looking absolutely fascinating uh, but like I said there's, there's great win for Wilson in this weekend a fantastic win for Maidenhead uh, the spoilers Hartlepool are on the charge 
Solihull are being immense. Barnet being immense. Um, but uh, what it's showing so far is between Barnet in first and Ebbsfleet in 12th, there's four points. That is honestly telling you how competitive this league is. I want to give a shout out to Kidderminster, how he is as well. They've only picked up one win in their first four games. They have drew two, but they've only lost one. If you're doing that, uh, you know, they've only scored two goals, though. But they've only conceded two goals. At the minute, Kidderminster need to find the shooting boots. Because it, it looks like they've definitely got a defence for this league. And a, a very, very stubborn uh, defence. And I think, I think Kidderminster will do well if they can just start to find their scoring boots. Because... In four games to only concede two goals that's nothing to you know be sorry about so even though they're in mid table in 14th it's a decent start five points from the opening four games uh, nothing to be sniffed at woking a bit of a surprise that they haven't started the season as well they've had the same record uh, as Kidderminster but not the start they would have expected, I'm sure. Oldham, definitely not the start they expected. But it, it's showing you right from, I mean, right from top to bottom, everybody's picked up something in the opening four games. And that that is so good, I think. Again, Dorking are uh, scoring goals, but they're also conceding them. Uh, easily not the best start for them. They haven't won in uh, four games. They've only picked up three draws, uh, but they've only they've only lost once, uh, which will probably frustrate you. See, they might feel a bit, um, uh, they might feel a bit uh, hard done by. Really, uh, only one, uh, only one loss, but. Um, and they lie in 19th. Bournemouth, like I said, not the start for them. Only one win. Uh, Rochdale, like I said, they're finding their feet. Southend are, uh, I believe, still doing miracles. But they have lost their last two games. Uh, with what's going on behind the scenes there. Halifax a very, very solid start in 8th. It just looks like a very competitive league. And I'm, I'm looking forward to following this this year. So, uh, I'll be back. Um, I will be doing previews for next week. The, in fact, I'll tell you what. I'll do a little preview for... No, well, I'll do it later on in the week. You'll get a preview. I was going to do it. Then I realised what day they are. There's three games on Friday in the National League. And the rest are on the Saturday... There'll be a preview coming before Friday, so look out for that and my opinions on that. Uh, National League fans, anybody, Gateshead fans, any sort of fans they are, um, let me know what you think of your club's start. Uh, Solid old fans, if there's any, let me know what you guys are, are thinking. You guys must be riding high right now. Was it the right choice for Neil Hardley to, to leave? At the moment, it's been proved fruitful. Um, and I, I look forward to watching this league develop over the season and see where people are going or where people are heading so that is my review of the National League uh, for uh, over this weekend again let me just remind you of the table Barnet lead the way on 10 points from goals scored from Solly or Moores Chesterfield a third the playoffs are filled by, obviously, Solly and Jetterville, but the other playoff places early on are filled by Hartlepool, by Wealdstone, by Gateshead, and by Maidenhead. They are they are being the surprise package for me early on. You've got Southend and Halifax just outside the playoffs on seven and six, respectively. Rochdale finding the place just, just below the top ten in 11th. And... Uh, this is going to turn into a very, very competitive season. So, 
Um, National League supporters, give me your views down below on social media. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the National League season. Are you finding it more competitive than last year? Because I certainly am. And I think it's going to be a lot more watchable this year as well, I think. So I'm enjoying um, seeing results going and seeing the uh, match that is usually brought on uh, TNT. Uh, I still watch those matches. So leave your comments down below for me. Tell me what you think. Please do like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. And give me some love, as I say. And I'll speak to you National League fans. I'll see you guys later on. I will be back um, in a little while, in fact. Um, with a League 2 review. And let you know what's happening there. But National League fans, I'll see you guys very, very soon. With another preview for next weekend. I will be back for that. And uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe again. Show me some love. Like I'll show you some love. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you soon guys. Bye bye for now. Bye.